Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm filming my most requested video ever and it is my updated handbag collection. A lot of you have been asking me to do this video and it's happening right now. Since my last video, which was probably about a year and a half ago, I have updated my collection. I have sold some bags. I've rediscovered a few bags which I thought I've sold but actually it's still in my collection. I've also mm, you know added a few bags here and there so if you've been following me for a while you do know that I have a lot of you know unboxings so it is really nice to kind of like put them all into one video and you can kind of see uh, where my collection is right now. I have quite a few handbags um, but I think it's manageable so I'm just gonna get straight to it uh, in no particular order probably I'll go by brands rather than you know go by age I think the last video that I did I did it by you know which bag came first I kind of lost track so I'm just gonna do them by brands and talk through each of the bags but really quickly so that this video is not like 10 hours long the way I'm using my old background is because I wanted uh, the color of the bags to really show through the camera when I use a background let's say I use a purple background or blue background it does distract a little bit off the color of the bag so yeah I decided to use um, the couch again somebody told me that this uh, her background this in cushion of mine looks like a coloring book so you want to color it in the middle of the uh, between the lines ever since I heard that I keep looking at my at my cushions like mm, I want to color you here mm. anyway let's get to the video I'm gonna start off with bags which I have only like one piece of so this bag is my Burberry blue label bag and I got this from Japan when I was there maybe about five or six years ago with my husband and it was my first trip to Tokyo this bag uh, over time didn't do so well it has kind of like yellowed on the canvas and the leather it's not like the best but yeah you know I still keep it in my collection because it has sentimental values to me so I probably have to figure out how can I make it uh, not look so yellowish somebody told me to paint it yeah I might do that actually so that's my first handbag I've got these two handbags which are super cute and they are rediscovered in my collection I totally forgot about them and this is the Radley handbags I got two of them and both were gifts to me from my brother when he was um, in the UK well he's still in the UK but he is study uh, he was studying then so when he came back for Christmas he got me uh, this piece and it's so cute it's like probably can't fit much I don't know yeah I have used this this particular bag it's leather and it's held up really 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 well uh, inside uh, it's made of that cloth material which you know this is a good uh, bag for like even if you got kids uh, little girls you know it's so cute and oh for me as well I have used it when I was running out for errands I just put like my phone where is my phone uh, my phone inside without the case of course because you know it can't fit and it can fit sideways like this inside and I'll put like some cash and I'll just run out so cute I can actually still use this bag the other bag uh, is also from Radley and his little doggies here it's super cute yeah uh, this one is more I would say um, can fit more because it can open wider it can open all that but the zip doesn't go all the way up it's just to the side like this which is also okay also another quick and easy bag and so cute you know if you got a daughter I think this would be such a cute bag I'm keeping it in my collection and a bag which I also showed in my handbag collection is my favorite Hello Kitty bag look at this big bag oh my goodness it is my favorite bag ever it's got Hello Kitty hits all around it it's got a big ribbon and it's got so much like space I use this bag uh, you know like a, my grab-and-go bag when I'm you know feel like doing like some massive shopping this is the bag that I carry and you can't get it anywhere it's made in Japan it is uh, the best so I actually bought it at the airport yeah I have to put my Hello Kitty bag in my collection you know I've got the Gucci's and the Chanel's but you know I'm a Hello Kitty fan and I'm a Hello Kitty lover so Hello Kitty gets into my handbag collection. I've got one more outlier and this bag I have also showed it in one of my favorites video and this bag is super unique this is a clutch envelope clutch bag from Monico what is the name? Monico yeah Monico and I got this 
as a birthday gift from my best friend. Just look at how stunning this bag is. It's handmade out from old kimonos. It is so pretty. If you live in Malaysia, you can buy this bag or this clutch from uh, Isetan KL, uh, KLCC. They have it. It's not expensive. It's below, I think it's a couple of hundred dollars. Such a statement piece. Okay, look at it. Like when I carry this bag, I always get compliments. I'm like, that's a really nice bag. You know, beyond all the Chanel's and all, this is something unique. People don't see this really often. And you know, if Christmas is coming, you can actually check this out. I love it. It is so beautiful. Moving on to Gucci, I've only got two Gucci bags. So the first is my Gucci bamboo bag. And this is in a uh, calfskin with the bamboo handle. And there's a little bamboo detail in the turn lock. I love this bag because, I don't know, it's so different. The reason I got this bag, and I mentioned it in my unboxing, is because I wanted a bag without any logos, without any detail, and it's just plain so that I can use it for work and people don't know. Uh, that it's a Gucci bag or it's branded but this bag is one of my few handbags that gets a lot of compliments every time somebody sees this, sees this bag they're like wow nice bag where is that from and I'm like oh Gucci like oh, Gucci they, this bamboo handle detail is just like such a statement so I really really love this bag it comes with a detachable strap. I've got my tissue inside. It comes with a detachable strap. Inside is that linen, like canvas linen material. It has a couple of pockets. I do use this bag quite a bit um, for work and then for going out. The strap has definitely softened since I've used it, but the bag is in such a good condition because it's very hard here. The only thing is when I got this bag, I thought that you know, I could fit a lot of things inside. You can't really fit a lot of things inside, but it's enough for going out for the day and, you know, just enough for work. You know, I'm not going to carry like tons of things to work. So it's, it's good enough, right? So I really, really love this bag. It's one of the classic pieces, especially with the bamboo handle. If you can get this, get it. The other Gucci bag that I have is this Gucci Super Mini Mammoth bag. And this is because of uh, Tabby Violet and she was the one that kind of like influenced me to get this bag but I love it it is so so cute I love the fact that this chain strap can be removed and then you can use this like a tiny little clutch I prefer this to the other super mini which is the Dionysus um, Dionysus one I think it's really like more thin and more uh, small but obviously that one looks quite nice as well except it didn't fit my iPhone 6 plus so definitely no go this fits my iPhone 6 plus so let me take out the strap so this is how it looks like on the inside it's got that microfiber lining it's also got a key holder with the case my handphone goes in perfectly there is enough space for another wallet such a Good grab and go bag. I love it. The only thing about the Mamon bag that I don't like is actually the heart shape. I really don't like it, but it works for the Super Mini. The Super Mini, because it's in this like cutie, really like, you know, uh, childish kind of size, the heart is not offensive. But for the bigger ones, I have to be honest, like the, um, the slightly bigger ones, uh, the Mamon bags, you know, the flat bags, uh, the heart, I feel. Don't kill me if you have the mamon bag, but I feel like the mamon bag with the heart just doesn't work. I, I can't. I'm not going to get into it, but yeah, for me, it's personal, okay? So it's personal. But if they put a star there, no. I think no as well, because I feel like those kind of shapes don't... Oh, I don't know. They just don't look good on the bag. Ah, I don't know. It is, to me, it kind of... To me, it kind of takes away the classic beauty of the bag. Uh, I don't know. It may be cute to some people. Yeah, I'm not going to get into it. Moving on, moving on to LV. And LV, I've only got four LV bags at the moment. Firstly is my uh, LV Speedy 25. This bag is my very, very first LV bag. I bought this. Oh my goodness so long ago uh, 13 14 years ago it was my first handbag when I started to work so I started to work uh, when I turned 21 and now I'm almost 36 so it's a long time ago I didn't get it when I was 21 but 
you know, I bought it um, close to that, that time. I actually don't use this bag anymore. I don't really reach for it. It is in um, not the best shape. I probably could bring it back to LV to get this, uh, you know, replace all the Vachetta replace because it has seen a lot of wear. It's just that I don't use it. I have so many other bags, so I do still keep it packed and all. It's still without the zip, yeah? Every time I look at this bag, I think about how it kind of started my entire handbag craze. Yeah, so I still have this in my collection. It is definitely staying in my collection um, for many, many years to come. My other bag is the Speedy Multicolor in Black. And this is one of the few bags that I actually don't use. And I don't use it because I want to keep it pristine. It is one of my most, uh, I don't know, prized possessions in a way because it is pristine. Like there is not a single scratch on the hardware. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I keep it as like a collector's item. I really take care of it. Oh, there is a tiny one here, a little bit. That's probably from one use. And the hardware is still super, super shiny. It is, yeah, the, the leather has hardly patina. It is still beautiful. I bought this, I probably only brought it out twice. And I, that's the reason, not because I don't love it. The reason is because I want to keep it in such a good condition. Can't get this anymore. It was limited edition. Maybe you could. I don't know, I heard they're bringing it back, but yes, I love this bag. It's such, um, it's such a unique piece in my collection. The next LV bag that I have is my LV Boswell backpack. And it is still very new. It's because I just got this in uh, March for my birthday. And let me tell you that this bag is one of my most dramatic purchases. If you haven't watched my birthday haul, I will link it up here and you can check it out. But basically this bag, uh, apparently, I don't know whether it really is, but that time, it's a discontinued Bag. You can't get it anymore. They only sell whatever is left. Whether they will bring it back in the future, I don't know. But at this point in time, what I've heard is this is a discontinued bag. So I actually had to pay a full deposit for this, or full price, and wait for it. And I waited like forever for this bag. And I wanted it a new. I wanted to get a new piece made in France, in pristine condition. So when my essay managed to get it for me and it got shipped down from France, I was like, oh my gosh, it's coming. So the purpose, like the reason I got this bag is because I am traveling a lot. Like I want to travel more for, you know, for holiday to really explore. So I've only used it um, twice so far. I brought it to Hong Kong and then I brought it to Japan. At end of this year, I'm going to bring it to Japan again. So every time I go traveling, this is going to be my traveling bag. Or most times, uh, yeah, most times I will bring this as my traveling bag. The Vachetta is still quite white because I am still a freak with this bag. I'm like taking really good care of it. Yeah, I love it. I love it so much. I, I know some of you have contacted me uh, to ask if I'm willing to sell it. I'm not uh, interested to sell it at the moment but yeah who knows in the future right so do look out if uh, for my Instagram if uh, this bag pops up <laughs> in my closet the other two I don't have them with me right now so the first is the LV Parlemo bag I still have it in my collection and the other is the uh, LV Speedy Mini Lin which is in the size 30 so these two bags are still in my collection I don't have them with me right now so I will just insert pictures and you can just check them out they are really uh, one of the first few luxury handbags that I got uh, that kind of like started my collection as well. So I've got two more brands to talk about and I'm going to talk about Hermes first because the last brand which is Chanel, I have the most of. So let's go with um, Hermes. The first is my Kelly size 32 in the color uh, Capucine and it is with the Togo leather. This is actually my first uh, really expensive Hermes bag. The other bag which I'll talk about later, I don't have it with me. Um, but anyway, this bag, I got it pre-love from an Instagram uh, reseller and it is in fantastic condition. I keep it stuffed. I'm not using it right now. It's uh, one of those bags that yeah, I still love a lot. It definitely has seen a lot of wear because it is secondhand. And uh, yeah, but, but, the, you know, but the stickers are still on the bag. I'm taking pretty good care of it. Ooh, I need to put a sticker back on. Okay, so yeah, I gotta 
replace the sticker for this bag. So the color Capucine, it looks uh, quite orangey, which I quite like because I already have another red bag, which I will show you shortly. So this is my Kelly size 32. Next is my Lindy 26, and this is the bag that I'm currently using at the moment. So it's got all my stuff inside. Let me show you. Yep, so I'm using this right now. I will be swapping it out to my Birkin, which I will show you shortly. So the color is in Rouge Tomato. This bag, I actually bought it from the store, and yeah, it's a brand new piece. Uh, well, I'm the first hand user, right? So it comes with gold hardware, and I really love this bag. I just like my Gucci bag, this bag gets a lot, a lot of compliments. I have brought it out oh, many times, you know, and every time somebody new meets me or somebody who hasn't seen me with this bag meets me, they're like, that is a really unique, really look, nice looking bag. And each time, they love the shape, they love the, it's so different, it's not like a normal flat bag, it's just, yeah, there's something about it that people get attracted to. The first time I saw it, I was a bit like, that's a strange looking box bag, but actually it is such a clever bag. It's got the strap, it's got the handles, it's you know easily, you know, you can go in and out of it. They, you know, I first, I think in my first impressions video, uh, it is a little bit um, kind of like a bit of a hassle to you know, unzip and open this buckle and you know take it out things. But nowadays, to be honest, I'm really lazy how I close the bag. I just literally just close the bag like that and it's tucked under my arm. When I need to take things, I just like slip through here and grab it. When I'm in a crowded place, I will buckle it up, I'll put one zip. But otherwise, I do just keep the flap um, unzipped, unbuckled. It's just like this and it's it works fine, so not the safest, but it works. The third Hermes bag that I have is my Birkin size 30, gold with palladium hardware, and it comes in Togo leather. This is also pre-loved from the same reseller that sold me uh, my Kelly bag. So this bag, I purchased it this year, and it is like my holy grail bag. I cannot believe I have this in my collection. It is in fantastic condition. It is about five, oh well no, not five, about five years old and I got a, I think I got a decent deal on it. I got it stuffed right now. I've got a, what is this? This is my, oh this is bag. I carry this every time I bring my Birkin out because I am, uh, I'm so afraid of rain, so this is actually a recycle bag that I actually put my handbag in just in case. <laughs> so I keep it there all the time just to remind me to bring it along. This is like, this is like the ultimate bag in my collection, like every time I look at it, I still go like, I can't believe I got this bag because it's, it's expensive, right? Fourth MS bag is my garden party tote. I still have that with me. It's in the pink Sakura. Uh, it's not with me right now. It is also another bag that is in my other place. And I will just insert the clip right here and you can take a look. I love that bag as well. It's in this, it's in this beautiful uh, bubble gum soft pink color. It is in the size 36, so it's very, very good for work. Uh, of course, the color is a bit like pink for work, but you know, I rock it anyway. Alright, finally Chanel, and I have actually collected quite a few Chanel handbags. Let me start with the smallest, and this is my Chanel Walk, and this is in the patent leather. I bought this when I was in Monte Carlo about two years ago, and I have used it. It's one of the bags that I do use when I go traveling, um, but I have a review about this bag and what I think about it. It's just that I don't reach for it. It's one of the bags that I have contemplated on selling. So if any of you are interested, let me know. It is in really, really good condition and it's in this beautiful turquoise color, patent leather. You can see it's in such good condition. I have considered selling it, uh, but you know, the hassle of selling things is something that I'm like, forget it. <laughs> but anyway, it is in my collection. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, you're so pretty. I want to use you, but I don't know why I don't reach for it. Yeah, anyway, so this is the turquoise um, patent leather walk that is uh, when I, about two years ago. Yeah. Next is my mini square bag, and this is the only one I have in my collection. This one I 
actually had to gather, uh, you know, com comments from y'all to tell me whether I should keep this bag. And luckily, all of you told me to keep this bag because I was a bit worried. Why is it so squishy? But I guess the season that this um, bags came out of, they made it in this kind of like more squishy, uh, less squarish shape, which actually is very very cute. Look at that, right? This is really good condition as well because I right now I'm not using smaller bags. This bag is currently in storage as well. So, so yeah, look at that. It is a mini bag that you know surprisingly fits quite a bit. It's not a bag that you can put obviously like everything, but if you strategically pack it, you can fit quite a bit. I could fit my wallet, my phone, a lipstick, my car keys, everything, and I can go out. Such a good bag to have when you're like you know on the run or like a date night. And I love the fact that the strap is not super super long, so if when I wear it, it falls around my hip bone. If you're wondering, I'm five feet four, so I really like to wear this, you know, just like this, or even as a crossbody bag and it falls a little higher, it's really really cute. Yeah, I like this bag a lot as well. I realize I've got a lot of blue bags, huh? <laughs> Next is my navy blue or dark blue uh, Chanel boy with a uh, vintage gold. And this is one of my most favorite bags as well. I haven't been using it. Actually, I should bring it out of rotation, huh? But yeah, I'm going to be using my Birkin first, but maybe next week. So this bag has been through hell and back, okay? And it's in really really good condition this the leather is so like so good the only part of this bag where i have mentioned before and i did i've done two videos about this bag uh one was like a review video and then i did an update video about this bag the most wear that i've got on this bag is actually the inner flap here on the cardboard as you can see the two veinings right there that's the most uh wear i have seen on this bag but other than that this bag i would say is really really like a workhorse bag for me this and my jumbo has been through a lot there are some you know corner wares and all but so beautiful such a rugged bag such a classy i think it's a classy bag rugged as well yeah so you know it it took me a while to appreciate the gold hardware when in my first video i mentioned i said uh maybe if i had a choice i might not have bought the gold but now that i've got you know other bags and all, I do appreciate the gold. I think the gold makes this bag different. If it was the ruthenium hardware, it'll be a bit dark, but this gold against the blue, it just goes like wow in your face. Next is my Chanel camera bag, and this is from 2015 Fall Winter Collection, I think so. And this bag is really also one of my most favorite bags. It is such a beautiful bag. The only thing is, mine is obviously uh, damaged in the sense that I've got a one, two, three, four little dents right here. But other than that, the bag is in really good condition. It is made of lambskin with champagne gold hardware. I bought this bag because of a Holly Annery and when she showed her bag for the first time or she unboxed it, I literally zoomed out of my house to get the same bag and I have not regretted any time any of it it's so beautiful it's so unique it comes with this like T um, ending at the chain you can't take it out but it gives something different to the chain non detachable but you know this bag packs on quite a bit it's a camera size bag I love this bag Holly is selling her bag. I don't know if she has already sold it, but I saw it on her Instagram and she's actually put it up on sale. So if you are looking for this bag and hers is in pristine condition, get it. <laughs> okay, moving on. This is my Jumbo uh, in silver hardware and caviar leather. I have talked about this bag many, many times. It is still in my collection. It has been in my collection for five odd years and it is in freaking good condition. I have to say it myself because I used this bag so much in the earlier days. I mean, now I've got other bags, but I am still using it. There is no, nothing, nothing that tells you that it is five years old. Um, I mentioned an update that there is some, you know, puffs that are not so puffy up here. But if you touch all these other puffs all around it, puffy. <laughs> and the only thing that I, I do mention it before, I've got a little bit of scratch here. Which is, you know, nothing to be, uh, you know, worried about. The rest of the bag, 
it still smells like brand new and you hear that <laughs> still squeaky okay so this bag I I have had thoughts about selling it because I have so many other bags I thought like, well maybe I should sell it and you know re downsize my collection a bit it's just that I don't have the heart to sell it at the moment I'm like it's still such a great bag it's such a classic bag you'll always be in Chanel's collection I hope but yeah as long as Chanel still makes this bag it is quite a sought-after bag workhorse bag great for work great for going out great for traveling I don't know I it's another bag that I thought about selling because I have other bags that I want to use but yeah I haven't decided so anyway this is my Chanel uh, bucket bag or Chanel calls it the drawstring bag this is in the blue color with ruthenium hardware I love this bag it's currently stuffed right now and I'm not using it at the moment it's made of deer skin and the thing that drew me into this bag is this buckle look at this so cute it's so I love it I love it love it oh my goodness so good um, I've also done a review about this bag since then I have used it also a lot um, so far you know I haven't had any problems with the leather tabs here like I mentioned in the video the handle has definitely softened but it is still in very good condition I do keep this bag stuffed quite stuffed because um, it's one of those bags that uh, will lose its shape if it, you don't really pack it so I pack this bag like a big basketball and I keep it away I don't use the long chain that comes along with it I just normally just carry the bag at the crook of my elbow or on my shoulder it fits me just perfect so yeah so the second last bag that I have is my Chanel Deville tote and this bag I got it during my birthday as well and this bag I you know I haven't been using it a lot it's because of the size it is very very big and though I am a tote kind of like a tote bag girl you know because I love my Birkin so much uh, it is very big so I don't carry like a lot of things all the time so this bag uh, is still in storage but I love it I think it's one of the uh, few Chanel bags which are very affordable you definitely get your money's worth in terms of the size uh, yeah and they come out with a lot a lot of different colors a lot of different design mine is the one with the sequins which adds a little bit of touch of difference to the bag but it is also a bit of a hassle which I mentioned in my video that I do have to baby the sequins a little bit because I'm so scared they might come out but yeah I love this bag and finally my recent addition is my Chanel Gabrielle bag this bag is one of the reasons why I'm thinking about selling my uh, jumbo bag ever since I got this bag I realized this is so me like I I cannot explain to you how this bag just I, I don't know I just feel like it's rugged it's 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 different it's got um, something something about it and the size is quite similar to the jumbo bag that I feel I don't know I feel like this bag is really me the two-tone uh, makes it different as well so it's beige with the black base comes with three kinds of hardware so you can be wearing any kind of accessories and this bag will definitely go I brought this with me to my London trip uh, Valencia and then Zur uh, Zurich so it had it did well as a travel bag not um, I would say that it can't fit as much as I wanted it to but it's good enough that I could get you know get away with it so yeah this is my most recent edition I will do a more in-depth review about this bag much later on but I already have a first impressions review about this bag and you can check it out so that's the entire collection that I have with me that I can kind of remember I do have two more bags uh, which is I would say it's still in my collection I guess it's with my mom actually uh, that's his, that is my uh, LV Elma PM with the Damier checks and I also have the Gucci it's I think it's the Gucci Suki bag I think that's what it's called can't really remember but anyway those two bags I've already passed them on to my mom still kind of like mine you know what I mean but it's actually with her and she's loving it so that is my entire collection I tried to go through each of the bags fairly quickly and hopefully this video when I start to edit it is not like one hour long I'm like oh my gosh so yeah anyway if you have any questions about any of these handbags uh, let me know in the comments down below otherwise yeah you guys take care and I'll see you in my next video